Hey everybody, where's Wally here? Well, today I was in Ranty's live stream and I was actually talking with Ranty and he posed the question to me about how do they get rid of the CO2 off the ISS? I think he thought he had me trapped a little bit. But, a few minutes of research, Ranty, and here it is. It seems like there's a system on the ISS called the Carbon Dioxide Removal System. What else would you call it? It works by passing air through granules of synthetic rock called zeolite, which absorbs the CO2. And the zeolite is very easy to regenerate. They just simply heat it and blow the CO2 back out through a vent to space. Of course, in future, they'll be able to run it through a Sabatia reaction that can be used to combine waste hydrogen and waste carbon dioxide to reclaim the water. And the leftover is methane. Well, that methane can just also then be vented to space. Or, if you happen to be sitting on Mars and you want to fill that rocket to get back to Earth, you can just store it and power it back up with all that methane and oxygen that you've just generated. Now, Ranty, one of the more complicating factors is just evenly distributing the air around that long skinny tube that we call the ISS. And that's why we often hear a lot of fan noise when the astronauts are doing various astronaut things on the ISS. Well, this was very easy, barely an inconvenience. What do you think about that, Ranty? It's shocking! Now, how about you go and find the link in the description for the debunking of Mitchell from Australia and his star trails?